And now, another emotional episode of As the Bread Rises. These are government-issued solar panels, Sergeant Hogwash. They can power the entire base. Is that understood? Sir, understood, sir! Hook them up double time. Then give one panel to every civilian in the nearby area. At ease. <sighs> Officers. Eh, I don't see any civilians in the area. So, I guess these extra panels are mine. <laughs> Perfect for heating up my new hot tub and sauna. Huh? That ain't short stuff. Major didn't say nothing about no penguins getting solar panels. Slide part A in the holes in part B. That's easy as up, two, three, four. Now attach part B to part C. Say, short stuff. Unauthorized removal of military equipment is against Arctic Corps regulation. Sneaky little prayer. Find out, flank me, huh? Take that! Buddy, one solar panel pilfering penguin discharged from this man's army. Time to light this candle. Funny, engines burn away, but I didn't push the start button. Yet. Dressed bird will not go a wall with my solar power. This detail is over. Nice touch. Very classy. And I know classy when I see it. Work is done. Time for fun. Now I'm in, watch me swim. That's a fin. Hmm, this looks familiar. Must be a copy of one of them famous museum pieces. Venus to miles ago, that's it. Everything the enlisted man needs to have a good time in the tub. <sighs> huh? Who's messing with my duck? Hmm. Could have sworn that statue was over there before. Get back here, you! We are now in launch mode. Ah, yes. Brings back memories of the time when I was a military high dive champion. Used to use softer water. This calls for a frontal assault. Charge! Poor battlefield tactics, soldier. No retreat plan. Whoa! Tough being ground zero, ain't it? I was military bowling champion, too. Enemy off the starboard bow! Sneak attack! Battle stations! Every man for himself! Huh? Whoa! Sub at six o'clock! Gonna open this sardine can and extract one pesky penguin! <laughs> Get me out of here, you little tuxedo terrorist! Victory through air power! Consequences 
of impersonating a naval submarine commander. You may think you're winning this battle, soldier, but I'm gonna win this war! The Coupe de Grasse, my son. <sighs> Who is it? Either the enemy has grown or I've shrunk. Uh oh. Bad news from the front. <laughs> What's going on here, soldier? I I can explain, sir. Saunas and hot tubs are not regulation, soldier. No, sir. Neither is your size. Not regulation, sir. I want this hot tub and this sauna off my base. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Way down here, sir. I'm busting you down to private. Understand, Pipsqueak? Sir, Pipsqueak, understand, sir. Congratulations! You've just purchased Mega Hot 1000, the hottest furnace in the known universe! Your Mega Hot 1000 has the heating power of 10 suns, comes with a lifetime warranty, and even makes hot chocolate and julienne fries. I'll bet you're ready to bask in her warmth right now. Then what are you waiting for? Pour in the fuel and fire her up! You do have fuel. <laughs> oh, what a glorious day off from the Antarctic core. No pressures, no responsibilities. No fuel! Halt, civilian! You think you could just waltz over here and commandeer this fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... Crash! Halt in the name of the Antarctic Corps! Is one military issue combustibles container, and I cannot allow his transfer to non military personnel without 456 74 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. <laughs> Thank you.
Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. <laughs> It's you again! of salt. Ah! Half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay. Stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. Like the heart and head of a certain fashion model. Huh? Huh? Ooh, ooh, La Luna! Oh, my La Luna! The goddess among mortals, the season's high fashion masterpiece, the one of a kind and very bendable Chickaboochie Canoochie fur. Ooh, ooh, La Luna. <sighs> it's not real fur, Benji, but what is real, anyhow? I'll delve into that philosophical issue in my upcoming autobiography entitled, Yes, I'm Famous, Go Away! Find the perfect backdrop, Benji. La Luna and Chickaboochie Ganucci must shine like the stars that we are. And move that smoking cake of an engine before it gags my pores. La luminous for the shoot. What's this? A fan. Even in this dreadful wasteland, La Luna's public seeks her out. Come forward, little penguin. <laughs> no, 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 darling. That's one of a kind. Perhaps some 
Another memento will cheer you up. The autograph of La Luna! Never bathe again. <gasps> no! Ah! Thankless fan. No one can produce the La Luna look like La Luna. A few red highlights and I shall be more perfect than me. Oh, perhaps just a smidge more. What the heck? My public deserves a new La Luna look. More red! Freeze! Why do you torment me like this? Although who could blame you for loving one so beautiful as me? My hair! My coat! I told you about the fur! Now, for your naughty behavior, you are banished from the luminescence that is La Luna forever! Craved a restraining order as much as this. Oh, La Luna! What has that cruel fan done to your glorious skin tone? The perfect outfit can fix any problem. To Maple, to Papal, to Maxi, to Minnie, to Formal. <gasps> what? I have reached the end of my emotional runway with you, Penguin! Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Ah! Stop the thing! Ah! Oh! Gotcha, you little pest. Ow! Forecast didn't call for Rayon. Get back here with my fur, you freaky little fanboy! Until your camera ready. Two years! Oh boy. Now what? That face! What a look! What an attitude! What inspiration! You will be the new model who launches a thousand fashion lines. Oh yes. Oh, that's nice. Good. Oh, very good. Oh, you're so real. Oh my god, and things are wonderful. Free. I got it. Oh! A hot new model has emerged on the fashion scene. The French call him simply Le Chilet. Bringing a new style to haute couture the world over.
I'm Snow Peak Smedley, the world famous mountain climber, and I am determined to be the first individual to conquer Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. These here high tech gadgets are gonna help me climb where no climber has clumbed before. Mmm, mmm. And there's nothing like warm homemade soup to give a climber pure energy to make it to the top. <laughs> Only a skilled climber like myself can endure these high, high altitudes. Mmm, <laughs> the air must be getting a mite thin. If I didn't know better, I'd think I was suddenly carrying extra weight. Huh? Well, I'll be a rival climber. You think you can beat me to the top by eating my soup and starving me off this here mountain, little fella? Well, guess what? Your scheme is not a gonna work. Conniving mm. little penguin, ain't he? Gimme! Now, this mountain ain't big enough for the both of us, small fry. I'll be climbing up that mountain, yes I will, yes I, huh? What the, yay! <laughs> now hold on one hand grip, stealing Millie. Uh oh. Huh? That little fella is not gonna beat me to the summit. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get you, you little cleft climbing soup napper, you! Oh! Whew! A professional climber knows there are good climbing days and bad climbing days. This is shaping up to be one of the latter. My food, you mountainside saboteur, you! Hmm, pretty loose snowpack for this high altitude. But my vast knowledge of the latest high-tech equipment has prepared me for any condition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that little old amateur beat me to the top now. A seasoned climber knows how to listen to the sounds of the mountain. Hmm, that's not the wind. <laughs> hey, how'd you get up? <laughs> but what a seasoned climber knows most is when it's time to clobber the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Yup, almost to the tippy top. And this here gadget from the Climber of the Month Club is gonna get me up there before that penguin for sure. Huh? What gives? Whoa! Oh no, you don't! I'm getting to the top before you, you little. Uh oh. Yay! <laughs> Oh, no, little fella. That's not gonna work on me. A pro like Snow Peak Smedley knows you never, ever look down. <laughs> when nearing the summit, it's very important to be quiet as a snow mouse. Any noise could trigger a dangerous avalanche. Whew! 
It's a good thing you don't talk much, neither. You might have snowed us under an avalanche. Huh? Avalanche! Ugh! I've had it with you, ruining my ascent, destroying my equipment. Stay away from me! Ugh! Yes, folks, we're about to check in on Snow Peak Smedley's world record climb up Mount Neverest. Wow, this is news, folks! The world famous climber Snow Peak Smedley has conquered Mount Never. Wait a minute, that's not Snow Peak Smedley, it's a penguin! <laughs> You've just become the first individual to reach the summit of Mount Neverest. What are you gonna do now? 